Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 4.8. The statement is same as that the previous, but now the, the welded flanges are different. So in previous, you can see it was like that. Now the flanges are, uh, sorry, the white flange beams are welded at end to end. Clear? So same the given data is same that is uh, W4 by 13 wide flange beam ultimate strength tensile strength is 58 KSI clear and factor of safety is 3. Now again you have to find the moment about Z axis MZ. Clear? So let's start with its solution. Again, this moment is equal to sigma into I divided by C. Now we will have to find I. For I, that is not available. So from appendix C, that was the previous appendix, we can see. I will also show you again. Now, in appendix C, you can see its uh, area is this, the same as previous, the total depth is this. Now, we will take this Ix. Why? In previous, we have taken I with the value of Y, Iy. Now, we will take the value of X. Why? The reason is that, uh, let, first, let me first try this data. So, area is equal to 3.83 inch square so total depth our breadth is 4.16 inch here let me show you total this 4.16 inch clear okay and uh, ix is equal to 11.3 inch 4. Now uh, I will explain why we have taken Ix. So if you watch this figure, this is the centroidal axis passing through centroid clear and you have to find moment about Z. So in this figure or in this diagram, if I uh, exaggerate it or zoom it, so you can see this is x and this is y so in this condition so if you are going to take the moment that is i so you basically the given rotation of moment is about this so you have to take the moment about i x while in this previous problem so you have seen that this was your y in that appendix c and this was your x so basically you are going to find take the moment about z so that's why you have taken i value over here while in this problem the x is like this from appendix f y is this so you have to take the moment about x so i x so this was the, this is the reason that why i use i x over here i hope you have got the idea so let's move to the problem. So again, I will have to find I for the above this beam and from below this beam. So if you I find any one of them, so you have to just multiply two. So you will get the moment of inertia for hold this welded beams. So IB is equal to IX plus AD square. Clear? So Ix is given that is 11.3 plus area is also given 3.83. Now what is the value of D? So D is the total height. Clear? So this total height is 4.16. Sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, this, no, no. Sorry. This total height is 4.16. But... D is the distance from this neutral axis to the centroid and this is centroid this will be the D 
and this d will be equal to total depth over 2 4.16 over 2 inch so this will be the d and this d comes out to be 2.08 inch whole square clear so this i b comes out to be 27.87 inch four so you for for total welded beams total inertia will be equal to two times ib because the same beam is available below so we have to multiply by with 2 so 2 into 27.87 will give you 5 will give you 55.74 inch ki power 4 so now we have i so as we know that this moment about z is equal to sigma into i divided by c again um, uh, this is allowable stress we have as we from previous problem sigma allowable will be equal to sigma ultimate divided by factor of safety which is equal to 58 divided by 3 and that will be equal to 19.33 ksi so now you have this sigma allowable you have i c is the distance from center to the outermost so this is the centroidal axis and this is the outermost that total height which is 4.16 clear so now you have all the value just put in this formula mz is equal to sigma allowable into i divided by c that is sigma allowable is 19.33 ksi and i is equal to 55.74 and we have c that is overall depth that is 4.16 so if you calculate all these so mz or m allowable is 259 kips into inch so this is the moment that can be applied about z axis and the structure will be safe clear again if you have any question you can ask in comment section thank you